Hi, I'm Alan Brown. Today we're replacing the clutch basket on a KTM 125SX. We're gonna take this old, worn out clutch basket and install a brand new forged Wysco clutch basket. On the old clutch basket, the main wear is on the fingers with the clutch plates rubbing inside here, causing the clutch not to disengage or engage properly. The new Wysco clutch basket is hard anodized and Teflon coated. This helps with wear resistance and also smoother clutch application. To replace the clutch basket, we'll have to remove the two gears off the old clutch basket. The bigger gear is riveted on and we'll have to drill out these rivets to get it off. First, we'll have to punch the rivets to make a locating hole for the drill bit. So today we're gonna drill out the rivets, but if you don't have a drill press at home, you could always use an angle grinder or any kind of heavy duty grinder to grind off the head of the rivets. Just always be careful not to damage either of the two gears. So we've punched our rivets. Now we're gonna start drilling, drilling them out. We've drilled out all the rivets on the Kickstarter gear. And now we're gonna take off the backing plate. Should, should lift up relatively easily now that we've drilled them out. You've got your rubber cushions inside your gear. And this gear should just come off pretty easily with a screwdriver. Okay, so we have one more gear to remove off the clutch basket. We're gonna do it on a press. I have a spacer and another spacer on the bottom. Place it in the press. It's not very tight, so it should come out relatively easily. If you're doing it in a garage, it's possible that you could bang it out with a hammer, but a press would be preferred. So you'll have a gear and one spacer that you're going to reuse. The clutch basket now is garbage. We've warmed up the clutch basket. We're ready to drop in the gear. Once you've heated up the clutch basket and cooled down the gear, you're ready to put in the gear and the washer. Be sure not to forget the washer. The gear and washer should slide right into the clutch basket with relative ease. The next step will be to install the big gear. It just sits on there. Make sure you put, put it the right way down. This gear has a step on this side and it's recessed on the outside. And we'll put in some new cushions. the new supplied retaining plate. And new supplied retaining screws. They come with Loctite pre-installed on them, so you don't have to worry about doing that. It also comes with a supplied hex bit Allen key socket, so you can tighten them down. Once I've tightened down all the screws by hand, I'm going to torque them to 80 inch pounds. Once I've torqued all the screws, the last step will be just to peen over the ends of the screws for an extra precaution to make sure they don't come out. Thank you.